Is it time to buy or sell Amazon stock? We are delving into Amazon in this video. Our initial report was released on Monday, April 8th, 2024, and now we're providing you with a more in-depth analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest insights. Stay ahead with updates that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions by exploring our new AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Access AI capabilities for free price predictions and in-depth analysis for 25,000 companies globally. Please remember, this video is for informational purposes only and does not constitute financial advice. Since January 8, 2024, our system has ranked Amazon as a strong buy candidate with a score of 6.68. Now, let's examine how the stock has performed during this period. Investors who followed our analysis would have seen a significant gain of 24.21% since we identified Amazon as a buy candidate 63 days ago. On average, this equates to a daily return of 0.38% since it was designated as a strong buy candidate. The stock is currently in a strong rising trend in the short term, indicating a further increase in its value. Over the next three months, the trend suggests a potential 18.64% change, with a return estimated between 14.15% and 24.24%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, the trend predicts a 59.81% change, with a potential return ranging from 29.56% to 58.75%. This could result in a price range of $239.94 to $293.98 by the end of the year. Our latest daily update for Amazon highlights a positive trend. Green day on Monday for Amazon. The Amazon stock price increased by 0.0648% on the last trading day, Monday 8th April 2024, moving from 185.7 to 185.19. Throughout the day, the stock price fluctuated by 134%, reaching a low of $184.80 and a high of $187.29. The price has shown growth in 7 out of the last 10 days, with a 3.53% increase over the past 2 weeks. Trading volume decreased by mainly 3 million shares on the last day, totaling 39 million shares traded for around $720 billion. It's important to note that declining volume alongside rising prices could indicate upcoming changes in the market. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, the stock's highest price was $187.29 and the lowest was $97.71. Currently, the price stands at 1.12% below the 52-week high, or two tenths and nonce, lower. Furthermore, it is 85.81% below the all-time high of $1,305.20 reached on January 15, 2018. Analyst Ratings Bank of America Securities upgraded AMZN to a buy with a hold action on Wednesday, April 3, 2024. Wells Fargo gave AMZN an overweight rating with a hold action on Monday, April 1, 2024. Goldman Sachs rated AMZN as a buy with a hold action on Friday, March 8, 2024. Needham gave AMZN a buy with a hold action on Friday, Feb 2, 2024. Needham also rated AMZN as overweight with a hold action on the same day, Feb 2, 2024. Analysts have rated Amazon stock as a strong buy, highlighting the P.E. ratio and price-to-book ratios as also strong buy. The return on investment for this stock has also been given a strong buy rating by analysts. Today's chart shows mostly positive signals for Amazon. The stock currently has buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a positive outlook. Additionally, there is a general buy signal based on the relation between the two signals, with the short-term average above the long-term average. In case of downward corrections, support levels are expected at $182.10, and 176 dollars and 68 Breaking below these levels could trigger sell signals. But what previously issued on March 11, 2024, from a pivot bottom point, resulting in a 7.69% increase. Further growth is anticipated until a new top pivot is identified. Moreover, a buy signal is also present from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. 
Despite price gains, volume decreased during the last trading day, creating a discrepancy between volume and price, serving as an early warning sign. It is advisable to monitor the stock closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal. Pivots, buy signal 20 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal one day ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal four days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see, short moving average, sell signal 21 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 111 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 101 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Support risk and stop loss for Amazon. Amazon's support levels are at $174.42 and $171.81, with potential further support at a $159.28. Testing support carries risk, as a break could lead to a drop to the next level. Despite this, Amazon typically exhibits controlled movements with good liquidity, resulting in low risk. In the past day, the stock moved $2.41.34% between high and low points, and over the last week, daily average volatility was 1.92%. Let's start by discussing some key fundamental data before exploring potential trading levels for Amazon. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is a critical measure that compares a company's share price to its per share earnings. A high PE ratio may indicate an overvalued stock or high growth expectations from investors. Looking ahead, the Q1 2024 earnings report is scheduled for April 25, 2024. Analysts, average estimate stands at 81 cents. Monitoring these figures is crucial as they can significantly impact stock prices. Let's explore potential day trading levels for Amazon. There is no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, indicating a possible swift upward movement. Consider entering a position and using volume to guide your exit strategy. On the downside, Amazon's first support level is at $174.42. If this level holds, it could serve as a good entry point with the potential for a rebound. The combined average rating for Amazon from multiple analyst sources is a strong buy. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On 2024-0401, Harrington Douglas J conducted an insider sell of 3,500 shares of common stock, par value 0 0.1s per share. On the same date, Harrington Douglas J also conducted an insider buy of 1960293 shares of Restricted Stock Unit Award. Following that, Solipsky Adam made an insider buy of 185910 shares of Restricted Stock Unit Award. Additionally, on 2024-0401, Zapolsky David and Olsavsky Brian T. both conducted insider buys of 13965 shares of Restricted Stock Unit Award. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is negative with a ratio of minus 92.971. Overall, insiders purchased 839,639 shares and sold 28,429,36 ,29 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at 176.33 4.79%. This stock exhibits minimal daily fluctuations, resulting in lower risk. However, the RSI 14 is at 78, indicating increased risk. Additionally, a buy signal was generated from a pivot bottom identified 19 days ago. Is Amazon stock a good buy? Amazon shows positive signals and is in a strong upward trend. Remember, let the trend be your friend. Therefore, we believe it is a wise choice at current levels with potential for further gains in the next three months. Our analysis indicates that the current price is undervalued based on recent volatility and market movements. Looking ahead to trading on Tuesday, April 9th, we anticipate Amazon to open up 573 and begin trading at 185.76. Trading carries a high risk of financial loss. It is advisable to consult a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Stockinvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment actions. Presenting our current analysis of the stock, 
Share your agreement or disagreement in the comments below. What price target do you have in mind? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us for more insights on successful trading. Wishing you a productive day from all of us at Stock Invest.